All right, guys, go to 32 here. Check it out. We're sitting in the Freedom Office here, getting ready to get my little boy up. We're going to go do some leaves today. It's leaf day. I got a ton of those big old white oaks that drop those little skinny leaves, and they get everywhere. Check this out. Got a cup of coffee. This is from my mom. God bless her soul. Uh, she's gone up to heaven. But uh, every time I pull this out, man, it's a Christmas special. It reminds me of her. Before we start, there's a couple announcements I want to make. Uh, Primary Arms now has the 2.5 to 10 power uh, GLX. And this is with the uh, Raptor M2 uh, reticle. Uh, if you go to KB32 TAC, you can see there's a link that will lead you over to Primary Arms. These things are really, this is probably one of the best DMR scopes on the market. Made in the Philippines, so you don't have to worry about the Chinese China effect. And this is sitting on a new little project that I've been working on for several, probably a couple years. This is a proof research barrel, a Lancer uh, carbon fiber tube. So you got the carbon fiber, carbon fiber is pretty cool and then a Lantec bolt carrier. Now, guys, this is stuff that I have been collecting over a long period of time. This is not something, where, I don't know that you can actually do to get these things. Uh, I do know that I did get the handguard off of uh, Optics Planet. And then, uh, that's about, about it. We're gonna, we'll, we'll be following up with this thing, but this is strictly a 75, 77 grain gun. Okay, so why are we here? We're here to talk about uh, the recent events and why I think these recent events are happening. Now, if you disagree with me or agree with me, I want you to comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. We started off talking about the P80 uh, grip module, okay, as well as the build kit thing that uh, Polymer 80 was sending out. And then all of a sudden, the, the ATF is in a, in a rush to, uh, one, stop this whole operation, and number two, go after the people in their homes and then, uh, guys, if somebody shows up at your house, do not let them in without a warrant. Make them work for it, if not harder. Uh, secondly, then the big thing was now that the ATF has changed their determination or they've written a letter wanting to know what your comments are, giving you the availability, I guess, till, uh, in the central part in the holidays <laughs> to comment on their their reevaluation and determination that uh, the SBA3 brace is too close to a stock. So now they want you to register your AR pistol or pistol, whatever you have this thing attached to with a barrel less than 16 inches. Why is this happening? Why, why, do, why, do, why is this happening? Well, if you go back and you listen to Anderson Cooper, like you want to take these guns off the street or whatever, and he says, bingo, if it's an assault rifle, it should be illegal. Well, that's his determination. That's Biden I'm talking about. We got an anti-gun uh, president-elect, supposedly. There is one safeguard. I'm going to do a video on that tomorrow morning. And then... Uh, you've got a vice president-elect who is known for her anti-gun rhetoric. They're both anti-Second Amendment, totally. They, they're, they're deci this deciding factor is that if you have a firearm, you are a potential criminal. That's the way they look at it. I was listening to uh, Mom's Day Man Action yet now the other day. It's just like they just want to get guns out of the hands of everyday citizens. They could care less about getting guns out of criminals' hands. Because doing that is way too hard. It's so much easier just to take the guns out of law-abiding citizens' hands. But in this case, guys, when the government looks to you to go, hey, if you have one of these things on, oh my gosh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to waive the $200 tax stamp and we're going to expedite your ability to register them. Now get this, register them. This is where it all goes. And we already know that they want to implement what they call is a mandatory purchase buyback plan or confiscation. It's a mandatory confiscation, uh, and you'll be compensated with a couple hundred dollars for your troubles. So now this is kind of a cool deal that they're going to go ahead and give you, the free-loving citizen, the ability to register your uh, AR-15 pistol to later on find out, hey, guess what? You've been entered into our new buyback program. And guys, that's where it's going. First is the polymer 80s. They don't want anybody having a firearm unless they know you have it. And then secondly, they want you to register your AR-15 or your AK or whatever it is pistol. Only to be implemented into a mandatory buyback plan, which I assuredly will tell you it will come down to that. Now, if you want to, go ahead and take advantage of the uh, 
you know, the free $200 less tax stamp and enter one of them if you want. If I'm doing it, I'm going to put a damn regular stock on it and fill out the necessary paperwork that I have to do to travel from state to state. But other than that, I'm not registering a damn thing. Ladies and gentlemen, you're not required to register squat. It's our Second Amendment, and these people have lost their damn mind, and it's a trick. That's my thoughts. Let me know what your thoughts are, guys, down below. Do me a favor. Share this thing. We've got a lot of cool stuff coming out, but you know what? It's just, just too many things that are so coincidental that Joe Biden wants you to register all your firearms, and then there's going to be a mandatory buyback program. And then all of a sudden, hey, listen, we got a way in order we change the determination that this is too much like a stock, and then we can go ahead and require these individuals to register these firearms. Stupid. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. That's my video rant. It's Saturday. I don't even know what the day. 12, 19. Hey, I turned uh, 52 in four days. Crazy. Let's go to Boy 32. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Was freedom's not freedom. I'm talking about the men and women in uniform is going to help us maintain our Constitution and a Bill of Rights. Because there will come a day that we will all have to answer that call to duty. And I'm hoping and I'm praying that the guys out there who value the Second Amendment will answer. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. We always end like this. I already did it. I'm going to salute you guys, my patriots, the people watching this channel. I love you. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.